Um, I'm joined now by Tim Bertels. You manage CCS operations for Shell. Tim, thank you so much for joining us. Now, give us a feel for how important this has become, particularly for uh, an energy and oil and gas player like yourself. Okay, so let me start by saying that Shell thinks that climate change needs to be managed. We need to manage our emissions. The world needs to manage its emissions. Shell is taking its responsibility. We think that there are multiple ways of managing uh, greenhouse gas emissions, and that is energy efficiency, nuclear, forestry, and several other ways. Carbon capture storage is a very essential element of that. And the IEA actually predicts that maybe up to 20% by 2050 can be managed through carbon capture storage. So yes, it is very important, and that gives the significance of this particular conference that we have here as was the first one that the IEF organized uh, in Beijing. And so I'm very happy to be here again, and uh, now on the second one here in Algiers. Now, when you look back in Beijing, a year has passed. Not a whole lot has changed, really, in, the, in terms of legislation, in terms of regulation. What, what has been done in that year? What can you really do? What has to be done? What's the big push? Yes, thanks for that question, because that is important indeed. Not a lot has happened, but some things have moved forward. One of those things is support by governments uh, to close what we call the commercial gap between the cost of CCS and the price of CO2. So that's good news. Some governments have stepped forward, put some, uh, uh, some funding in place to close that gap. Second, what is important is that we learn from uh, the importance of public acceptance, societal understanding of the need for CCS uh, in general, uh, in particular countries, and close to their backyard, as we call it. So that is very important, and we learn from projects on how we can do this better. Uh, certain things need to be better communicated to the public in terms of what CCS is about. And thirdly, as you mentioned, regulations, uh, discussion about long-term liabilities, who takes on liability for the CO2 once it is stored, uh, those kind of issues uh, need to be addressed. It's not uns insurmountable, but we can address these things, but we need to progress and we need to go faster than we have done over the past years. Are you encouraged by the fact that there are more people being brought to the table and you know more livelier discussion, even what we're hearing here in Algeria and more projects going on? Yes, I think it's very important that uh, international institutions such as the IEF and the IEA, the Global Carbon Capture Storage Institute, the CSLF who are present here today, it's important that they take the lead and bring those parties together. So here today we see industry together with government's representatives, together with service companies, together with uh, all kinds of stakeholders in this very important debate. And so uh, it is important that we get together, that we share our learnings, that we set out the roadmap towards 2020, and that we discuss what needs to be done in addition to what we're doing today. Now, will everybody will be heading to Mexico at the end of the year to and I'm sure CCS will be high on the agenda, but so. <laughs> tell me just a little bit about what, what, what your hopes are for that. Uh, my hopes are Copenhagen really brought us uh, some good things in terms of uh, agreements for this uh, going for a maximum of two degrees Celsius uh, uh, increase in temperature. So, so that sets the, the stage. Um, and also uh, Copenhagen came with a green uh, t uh, technology fund. So what I would hope is that we firmly put CCS on the agenda in terms of a mechanism to uh, mitigate greenhouse gas emissions, a mechanism that is eligible for green technology funds, for uh, uh, climate funds. Um, what I also hope is that, we, that there's some kind of an understanding that we need certified emissions uh, reduction uh, certificates such that CCS can be applied globally because after all we are discussing a global problem, so we need to really be able to deploy CCS globally and uh, make sure that we can deploy it in the best possible place, yet still get the credits for doing so in other places. So yes, I, I really hope that the CCS is high on the agenda and that we can get some agreement in Cancun in terms of deployment faster, and more efficient, and with more stakeholders on board. Super. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.